So what is a great setup for live events to interview people when it's really noisy and do it with the DSLR? We're gonna talk about that in this video. Hey, what's up, Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you go further, faster in media. And we just wanna talk about this setup with my friend Tim Schmoyer, who uh, we're at Vlogger Fair, and he's got this cool setup for really capturing interviews with a DSLR in this setting. And I'm super fascinated specifically with this audio device. So Tim, what do we have here? This is a Beach Tech. Uh, I forget the model numbers, but like BH, it's like DSLR or something or other. But it's just giving me all the audio meters for, um, well, not the meters, all these little dots do light up. But it lets me adjust people's volume so like while I'm talking right now and the camera guy is like, oh, Tim actually sounds really quiet or he's holding it too far away. I can just quickly adjust the volume like right here with this knob or I have two XLR inputs so I can have two mics separately that record on one record on the left track, the other record on another right track and then in post I can go and just, you know, fill in the other channel but I'll, I'll record on two channels basically so if like one channel is really soft, the other ones can be like really loud, then I can adjust them so that the same rather than if you're just using one mono input then everyone like one person be quiet they're going to be loud and there's no way to adjust it you know afterwards so now talk about you use magic lantern i don't know if you could fire it up but this is a great device you, he has only one channel going in but you do get two xlr inputs so you could do dual mics and then when you do magic this is a canon 60d and when you do magic lantern you can uh, you get your audio meters. What what's it do? Uh, here's my audio meters at the top, so you can see that. Oh, sorry, yeah, wrong way. <laughs> you see the audio meters at the top there. I'm peeking a little bit red, so if I was adjusting it, you just turn this knob down a little bit, adjust my microphone, um, and I have it on mono right now because there's only one source. But if I had two microphones, I would just switch this to stereo, and then I have one on each channel. And then it has phantom power too. So if you're using a um, like a, a microphone that requires like battery power, you know, like a lot of XLRs do, then you can switch on the the 48 volt uh, phantom power for either one or both of your microphones. And it has all the, the other thing that I like is a microphone jack so that I can monitor the audio with headphones while someone's talking. It's really great for like convention floors and stuff because. Um, when uh, it's really loud, sometimes you can't really hear. But these microphones like are awesome for cutting out like a lot of background noise. But I still can't hear them. But if I have headphones in, I can hear from a distance how it's actually going. If there's static being introduced, if I'm going wireless, I usually go wired just so I don't have to worry about it. But um, in this case, I'm going wireless. Question of the day: What equipment do you use for DSLR audio? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for checking out this video. We'll put links to everything that he talked about in the description below. And uh, check out Tim's stuff on Video Creators. If you want to start a YouTube channel or just learn more about online video, his stuff is awesome. And uh, thanks, Tim, for being on. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Sean here with Video. Hey, what's up, Sean? <laughs> That's a different wrong channel.